and we're joined by Susan Ames. You, you ran for council, pretty well known in Kelowna. Uh, you're interested in this community and you're interested in the building behind you. Yes. Well, what's left of it? This project, this is sort of a, a heritage, an important heritage site. And it's kind of a pity what it looks like today. You know, it's been standing there for over two years looking like that. So it's an eyesore in the area. And I think there's another way of approaching these new projects. All right. So this was envisioned to be this wine center, but apparently the uh, developer ran into regulatory issues regarding their liquor licensing. And so it, it was brought to a halt. And here it stands as a facade. D is it really an eyesore to you? Oh yes, with all of the uh, steel scaffolding and the area behind it, it was a beautiful building before. So I think that it's an eyesore. People walk by and see that steel scaffolding and wonder what it is. But it's not just this building, it's other buildings that aren't finished in this city and other cities. Well, what could the city possibly do about that? They can't prevent people from running into difficulties with, with their projects. Well, I think if the cities have a policy that require developers to have a bond put aside so that if the project, if the, if the developer runs in, into trouble and walks, that there's money to either reverse what they've done or finish the project. Is there any precedent for that, though? Has, has any other city or jurisdiction put that sort of framework in place? Uh, I don't think so. We see those, I don't know, but those uh, uh, incomplete projects occurring in different areas. It's not just here. So it's a different time to look at a different maybe plan. In the mining industry, uh, the mining companies have to put up a bond and it, the cost of closing that mine is estimated 40 years, 50 years from when the mine is starting. And if they can't finish, then the bond will be used to complete the project, close the project. And what happens is it may, mining companies don't proceed if they don't have enough money. So it makes them plan very carefully. So I think we need to have uh, developers have a good uh, game plan to complete the project. So a bond would be an incentive, incentive to make sure they've got all their ducks in a row. So you wouldn't envision this to be something for all of us. Like if I wanted to put an expansion on my on my sun deck, I wouldn't need to have it take out a bond. But if no. it was a major project. Major project in the city. You know, we've had different projects in the city that haven't been completed over many, many years and people have to look at them. Why is there a concrete foundation downtown with rebar sticking out year after year? So this bond idea would make sure that maybe the developers planned carefully, or maybe they do. Sometimes there's a change in plan, so maybe they have to have a plan A or plan B if something happens. But if they had a bond, they'd be really careful and think into the future, and then maybe these projects would not occur or would get completed. Right. Clean them up so we don't have to just up. stare yeah. at, at a at a failed idea. Yes, oh. at a failed idea. That's right. correct. Yes. Well, we'll see uh, where that idea goes. Yes. Thank Th you. Thanks, Susan. And thank, thank you. you for watching Kelowna Now.